You know, Bernard, this legislation will be a huge step toward cleaning up the environment. Very good, sir. <laughs> Hopefully it will start with this room. <laughs> Didn't I tell you two to pick up your toys? We did. And then we put them back down. It's called playing, Dad. Okay, let me make myself more clear. Pick up your toys and put them away. You heard it. I'm her supervisor. Well, I'm your supervisor. Now, both of you, come on now. Let's go to work. I'm putting in for a transfer. Watch out. That's Bork the Alien Hurler. Really? Why do they call it the Hurler? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Ooh, Franklin Roosevelt. That's smart. Ah. Bambi is down in the forest. We need to get the vice president to a secure location. Wait a minute. I'm Bambi? I thought I was the eagle. Oh, no, sir. The first lady is the eagle. Come on, kids. Let's get you checked out, sir. Guys, it isn't necessary. Mm. The lion just twisted his ankle. The lion? Just thought I'd try it out. Jaguar, grizzly bear, make a hole. And I'm Bambi. We gotta get the president some medical attention. Or just an ice pack. Ah! Make that two ice packs. Oh, honey, how's your ankle? Does it still hurt? Catherine, I am the president of the United States of America the most powerful man in the world. Do you really think that something as little as a twisted ankle would cause, ah, oh, it's too cold, it's too cold, take it off, take it off. A poor little leader of the free world. I better warm you back up, huh? Oh. Ew! Can you guys not do that ever again? I've got company coming over. Really? Oh yeah, it's just a guy. Just, just a, a guy. guy. No, it's not a guy, guy. I volunteered to tutor a student. That's great, Chloe. Giving back. I'm very proud of you. Uh, Mr. Brad Hudson is here to see you, Chloe. Okay, a little less proud now. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is Brad. Hello, Mr. President and First Lady. Hello. Hi. <laughs> there he is, Brad Thunder Hudson. Sup? Sup? <laughs> the star basketball player and the first son? We should hang out more. Or at least once. No doubt. You know, Thunder, I was a bit of a baller myself back in the day. Really? You? <laughs> you can turn down the shock in your voice, son. They used to call me Scrambled Eggs. <laughs> Always had the worst nicknames. I'm gonna post this picture of the two towers of power. It's more like one tower and a toothpick. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. President. First Lady. Same. You as well. Should I be worried? Honey, there's no reason to be. This is Chloe we're talking about. She doesn't like the big, strong, athletic type. She likes guys like her dad. Excuse me? Who no one can measure up to. Nice save. And I will have you know, I am strong and athletic. Yes, dear, you are. Oh, wait, 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 because they outsourced it. Let me show you how this is done. Now watch this. Look at this, son. Look at this. I'm walking like a man with purpose. I got swag. Swaggy, swaggy, swaggy. You know what? I'm keeping this baby. It says I'm a man of style, class, and panache. And delusions of grandeur. You know, this is not only a cane and a walking stick. It wars off evil spirits. Oh my God, it's not working. What is that? An ugly stick you got beat with? I was watching theater in the round. 
Lucas, Olivia, show your daddy what you made for him. We made you a get well card. <laughs> oh. The glitter is my idea. I thought it would add panache. Ah, that's my word for the day. You got the calendar too? Mm -hmm. And tomorrow's word is decrepit. Your picture's right next to it. Daddy, I'm sorry we hurt you. Oh, it was just an accident, my sweets. It wasn't your fault. You're right, sir. It was our fault. It was our job to protect you from harm, and, well, we harmed you, sir. That's why we got you these. Crafted to your exact measurements, sir. Your height, weight, your stance, and your stride. And they're lemon-scented. That wasn't easy. <laughs> got it. I appreciate it. But it's just a twisted ankle. I'm fine. Why take chances, sir? Just until you're 100%, Mr. President. If you insist. Uh, uh, OK. <clears throat> what the wood will? Tighten the screws? There were screws? Hello? Little help over here? I hate book reports. Well, Tale of Two Cities. Okay, summarize it for me. Well, first of all, there's, there's two cities. And, uh, spoiler alert, there's a happy ending. So I'm guessing you haven't read it yet. I skimmed it. Well, I, I, was, I was planning on skimming it. Too busy playing basketball, right? Yeah. That and I volunteer at the soup kitchen on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on Fridays, I lead a square dance at a retirement home. Well, it's not really dancing. It's more like me holding them up. Wow, I, uh, I... Just saw me as some dumb jock? No. Yeah, I did. But that stuff you do, it's kind of amazing. Sorry I misjudged you. Eh, I'm used to it. That's really how everyone sees me. You know, like how guys see you as just a pretty girl. Whoa. Yeah, we all have our burdens. <laughs> Mr. President, we have just the thing to make you feel better. Actually, it'll make us feel better. And say hello to Scooter Force One. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. President? I'm not getting on there. Not without this year. <laughs> Oh, come on now, honey. Hardison and Hill, they, they feel bad. They just want you to be safe. Oh, and look, it has a little horn. Isn't that cute? Honey, you're not really selling it. Did I ever tell you that I've always had a thing for a man on a motorcycle? And then you said, Please, Mr. President, we haven't slept since all this happened. Okay, okay. I will give it a try. All right? Here we are. Okay. Hey, it's pretty comfortable. Huh. Now, how does this work? The two speeds, sir. Turtle and hair. But you should probably stick with uh, turtle, sir. We didn't tell him about reverse. You should have worn the helmet. You okay? Yeah. You? Yeah. We really dropped the ball. We didn't just drop the ball, we dropped the president <laughs> several times. <laughs> we have got to do something to brush up on our skills. We have an important job. We are the last line of defense between the president and all the crazies out there. No way William is going to approve a national cane day. Well, if he doesn't, we're not only going to march on Washington, we're going to strut on Washington. <laughs> you two have a second. We need you for something. You need me? I knew one day you'd come to your senses, not come to brown sugar. And that's not what I meant. Man. What he meant is the president was injured on our watch, and we have got to do something to make sure that never happens again. And we could use your help. Are you drafting us? Are we gonna be the secret, secret service? Not exactly. <laughs> we need your help to do role-playing exercises. Role-playing? That's my specialty. Okay, I'll be the naughty nurse and you be the patient in a coma. No, no, uh, we need you to help us brush up on our protection skills. Pretend that this cushion is the president. Already got more personality. 
Now, do what you have to do to get past us to attack him. Okay, but what's my motivation? Am I angry or am I crazy? I'm leaning on crazy. How did I get here? Is your car waiting? Is it nice? Can you hold McCain? Am I angry because I lost my job? Am I doing this to impress a celebrity? Who, what was my job? Was I a supermodel? Oh, did all the other models try to push me out because I outshined them? More like outweighed them. I'm going to outsnack you. Guys, just, just try to get past this. Okay, now, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't let Paul let his face be the last thing I see. Mr. Johnson, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Psych. Oh. 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 Was that as good for you as it was for me? Come on, let's do it again. That was fun. I just can't do this. Everything I write is garbage. It can't be that bad. Oh, you drew your book report. Pretty cool, huh? I was going for an artistic thing. You know, maybe you should go for more of a word thing. Why are you looking at me like that? Do I have something in my teeth? You know you're kind of amazing, right? Well... I wouldn't use the word amazing, but since you already put it out there. You know, do you, do you think you could just write the outline for me? Then I do the rest? I mean, I totally would, but I've got to go to the animal shelter tonight. But your paper. Those kittens really need me. And I need them. Go, go to those kittens. Thank you. Oh, before I forget, I've got a special one-of-a-kind pen for you. Thank you. I just really appreciate your help. Besides, I thought it looked great on you. One amazing outline coming right up. Oh, this is my mom. I don't want to disturb you, so... You know, once we're done with the paper, we should hang out. Okay. Robin, what's up, baby girl? Yeah, I'm trying to see you tonight. I just have to get out of this stupid volunteer thing. Because it'll look good on my college apps. Hold on. Robin, here comes my way out now. I'll see you tonight. Hey, my man. Hey, what up? What's going on? You taking a break? You want to go play some ball? I'll spot you 10 points. <laughs> a random question. Do you know Robin Carrington? Yeah, the hottest girl in school. Uh -huh. Psh, I was going to ask her out one time, but she only likes jocks. Oh, come on. You're the first son. There is no one cooler than you. Yeah, I forget that sometimes. Let me hook you up. I'll put in a word for you when I see her tonight. Towers of power. Man, it's so nice to finally have another strong athlete around you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What's <laughs> up? So. Oh, wait. I just realized. I have to work at the animal shelter tonight. I guess I won't talk you up to Robin. Uh, hold on. What if I covered for you at the shelter? That'd be cool, man. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I've got something for you. You're now an honorary member of the basketball team. But you have to keep this on the DL. This is a one-of-a-kind pin, and I'm supposed to hold on to it. But since you're my bro, it's yours. Thanks. Later, man. I'll see you on the court, bro. Ah! What? Easy, easy. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. And you wonder why they call you Bambi. You have never experienced this kind of pain. Oh, you're right. I only gave birth to four human beings. Not at the same time. <laughs> I am sorry. I am in a lot of pain. But it's nothing like childbirth. You have made that clear. <laughs> Come in. Mr. President, may we have a moment of your time, sir? Guys, you've apologized. Really, it was an accident. Well, it was actually four accidents. <laughs> sir, we're not here to apologize. We're here to give you this, sir. Oh, paper cut. Mm. Oh. Seriously, give me a break. You're resigning? Guys, we've made up our minds. We're officially surrendering our sunglasses and earpieces. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucille. We've had some crazy times together. 
Be good to her, sir. We'll, of course, stay on until our replacements arrive. Right. So we need these back. Oh, Bernard, thank you. Hardison and Hill are talking about leaving. It's been a great 17 years, Bernard. And it's been an honor and a privilege working with you, Agent Hill. I'm, I'm Hardison, that's Hill. Whatever. Best of luck, mall cops. Wow. What happened to you? I was filling in for Brad at the animal shelter, and it was feral cat night. They don't like to be washed. Wait, filling in? So you're doing his work at the shelter, and I'm doing his book report. Don't you see what's going on? Of course I do. Wait, no, what's, what's going on? He's using us. No, he's not. Brad is a good guy. I mean, he looks out for his teammates, Actually, look what he gave me. It's one of a kind. What a jerk. He gave me the same one of a kind pin. He is using us. I can't believe he did this. Believe it. I'm calling him over here right now. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna go take a shower because it still feels like there's cats all over me. <laughs> hey, guys. Chloe, are you done with the outline yet? Oh, I'm done, all right. I'm done helping you. Yeah, me too. And here's your one-of-a-kind pin. Oh, and here's your other one-of-a-kind pin. You know, you look kind of amazing when you're angry. Save it! It's not gonna do you any good by calling me... Oh, you are talking about Chloe. Sup. Does this look kind of amazing? Share the outline. I need that or I'll fail and get kicked off the team. And there goes my NBA career. What if you don't make it to the NBA? Please. I'm a lock. So was Shaquille Mendelson. Who? Exactly. He blew out his knee, bye-bye NBA, and hello cleaning out the frozen yogurt machine. <laughs> Chloe, I really need to get a passing grade. Then won't you start by actually reading the book, writing the report. And calling Robin. And when you're done, I'll proof it. You know what? I'm gonna call Robin myself. But wait, I think you should call her first. Put in a good word. Brad, here's your one-of-a-kind pin. I bet you didn't even talk me up to Robin's mother. Did you? I gotta tell you guys, I am so sorry to see you go. I mean, is there anything I can do to convince you to stay? Mr. President, please don't make this harder than it has to be. I want to stop right here, right now, and tell you how much I will miss you. Right now! <laughs> Look out! Oh. My God. Oh, you two just saved my life. You, you have the reflexes of a cheetah. Which, by the way, would be a great nickname for somebody. I'm just saying. We still got it. We do. <laughs> so are you two gonna stay? Or... Cause I think your skills would be wasted at the mall. Well, we prefer to waste them here, sir. Actually, that didn't come out. What he's trying to say, Mr. President, is we'll stay. Permission to hug, sir? Grant. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what was that? My back. Ah. Uh. Sorry, Bambi. Bambi? <laughs> that was a close call, sir. Certainly was. Everything went off as planned. But I must say, that was a big chance you took. What if Hardison and Hill weren't fast enough? Well, I would have just jumped out of the way. I mean, they don't call me Cheetah for nothing. They don't call you Cheetah, sir. They will now. <laughs>